Okay, welcome back. So I promised you some materials. Let's start making our donut look kind of edible, I guess. Okay, so because we're in Cycles Render, we can go into our materials here. Hold on, we need to change something first. If you go into your viewport shading settings here, we are going to have to put ours in material, otherwise we won't be able to see our materials at all. So that'll be a good start. Okay, so go into the materials. I'm going to start with my actual donut part of the donut. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to set the color to be something around here. That looks donutty, right? Yeah, I reckon. Okay. And I'm going to select the icing now as well. Make another new one. And I. Personally, I'm a big fan of strawberry donuts, so I like that already. Lovely. Okay, if I hit F12 now, it's going to render. That's starting to look pretty nice. A few things I'm going to fix up in the scene just to make this start to look even better. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to grab both of these. I'm going to go A to select all. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to right click on the top and then shift right click on the bottom. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. Shift right click is just what you do to grab multiple things. And I am going to raise my donut above the ground. And that I'm doing because I'm about to put something on the ground. So, Shift A for adding, I'm going to add a plane. And I'm just going to play with the dimensions here. I think 8 by 8 was nice for me. Yeah. And I, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to move my light source pretty much right above my donut so we can see it a bit nicer. Let's hit F12 now, see if that looks better. Yeah, that's looking a bit better already. You will... Oh, maybe I can just speed that up. Yeah, in the future, I'm just going to not talk while it's rendering and speed it up so then I can just fast forward it and not put you guys through waiting. But yeah, that's usually how long it takes. So that looks pretty good. I might move my... I might move my light source a little bit more down, but other than that, I'm pretty happy. That'll be good to work with. Okay, there we go. I just made a couple more adjustments there, so we had something I liked. Um, what you are going to notice is currently our, our icing isn't very shiny. Usually donuts have a bit of a shine to them and that's, this sort of just looks a bit flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape to get out of the render, which I haven't mentioned before. Should have mentioned that. Um, I'm also going to change this from material to rendered. So then we can see how the light bounces off things in real time. Um, it does make this sort of pattern that the pixelated pattern, it sort of just fixes itself out after a little while if you don't move the camera. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my icing again. Let's have a look at what, instead of using diffuse BSDF, I'm going to see what gloss looks like, glossy. Yeah, see, currently, Glossy is reflecting pretty much all light. If we change the roughness, it looks a bit more like it, but really, that doesn't quite cut it. What I actually want to do is I want to do some work with the node editor. So, if we open that up, 
and just grab this bit here to create a second screen. I'm going to go N on both these to close those side windows. And then down on this one, I'm going to change it from node editor back to 3D view and to make sure it's on rendered. And N and T to make these go away so we can see what we're doing. Lovely. Okay, so these nodes are for the materials. If I go Shift A, I can add a I can add a diffuse BSDF here, and I'm going to grab that color. I'm just going to copy the hex code because that's easy. I'm going to put that as that instead. Okay. This is kind of cheating because I already know this, but if we mix these, it will pretty much be exactly what we want. Part matte, part shiny. Then we can get the right balance of both. So, if we go Shift A again and check out what else is in these shaders, we can find this mix shader. If we dump that here, huh, didn't know that, that's nice. So if you click it on top of something, it'll automatically do it. Okay. So currently we've got our diffuse BSDF going through there. If we put our glossy in as well, it will mix them. What it's currently doing is a 50% mix of the two. I don't think it has to be that shiny. So what I'm going to do, let's see, yeah, the more we bring it to our left, the more it is going to be our diffuse, the more we bring it to our right, the more it'll be our shiny. I think we only need about... I like round numbers, so I'm just going to go with 0.15. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to click over here and give it a render. Yeah, you know what? I think that's fine. I think that looks good. Okay, so now we have some nice materials on there. What I want to do next is I want to actually just bring that back. The way you bring those close up, the way you close those up is just grabbing this bit up the top here that you dragged it out with and putting it back so that arrow pops up. And that'll work. Let's go back to our 3D view. I'm going to go back to solid mode so I can see things properly. Okay, 